Well, hey, it's Freed's first time. I am Freed, and it is officially December 1st. Holiday season is upon us, and that means whiskey advent calendars. Now, the majority of my viewers are here in China, so let me just take a moment and explain what advent calendars are. For a long time, it's an old tradition. There would be a box maybe full of candy, full of Bible verses or scriptures, and every day you would open one box as kind of like a countdown to Christmas Day, from December 1st all the way to December 25th. I didn't come from an overly like religious family, so we always had the paper chain. We would take strips of paper, glue them together, and just chain them together, and every day we would tear off one of the chain links, and that would act as our advent calendar. Nowadays, things have gotten so commercialized it's 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 a bit it's a bit off the rails i mean there are obviously whiskey advent calendars there are socks advent calendars there are sex toys advent calendars and it seems as if the world has taken this as an opportunity to to make a buck but its traditions are in uh, are in yeah comes from the heart so that's good so what we're going to do is from today all the way to christmas day every day i'm going to open up one small bottle, 30 milliliter bottle, and I'm gonna drink it. And maybe we can drink it together. Now, my point, my approach is the um, the single malt review. I don't know if you've watched those uh, uh, New Zealand YouTubers. They're they're great. Their descriptor descriptor words are fantastic. But um, when they had their advent calendar, they did it blind, so they wouldn't know where it was from. They wouldn't know how old it was. They wouldn't know if it was expensive or cheap. They wouldn't really know if it was a blend or a single malt. Um, so that's the approach I'm going to have. Why do you ask? Because we as humans are very easily influenced. If, you, if I put a glass of whiskey in front of you and tell you this is 40 years old, your brain is going to automatically think, okay, this is going to be life-changing. This is going to be amazing. Or if I put a glass of whiskey in front of you and say, this is a $6,000 whiskey, you're already going to have a preconceived notion of what this is going to taste like. If we take all of those influences away, you have nothing to do but focus on what is in the glass. And that is all. And you can judge it by its merits uh, on the palate and on the whiff and on the finish. And my goal ultimately is to hopefully dispel some of the rumors going around that expensive means good, that excessively old means good, and all the things in between. So that's all I've got for that. So let's just do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have, I do have the advent calendar at my feet. I have been asked to refrain from showing the box. Not a big deal. So I'm going to reach down between my legs, pull out a bottle, refrain from looking at it, twist open the cap. This is wishful thinking, by the way. I really hope this goes as smoothly as I think it's going to. Pull off the cap, pour it in the glass, and then quickly, without seeing the label, put it in this little coffin box and, uh, and then have a nosing and have a tasting and see if I can guess what it is. Now, normally, I am god-awful at blind tastings. I mean, really bad. Like, last year, I actually thought a single malt was a bourbon and vice versa. I sucked at it, but I've gotten better, I think, a little bit. I still have a just nah, nah, there's I, I'm this is to help myself as well. I really hope I can improve my my tasting skills. And I I do have a list of what is potentially in this uh, advent calendar. So I'm not flying blind. I do have a list of like maybe 40 or 50 whiskeys that are possibly in this in this uh, advent calendar. So I get a little bit of a gauge to go by. So the margin of error is decreased a little bit, but I will still screw it up. I guarantee it. <laughs> I really hope you can get that on camera. My cat just decided to hop up, lift his leg and clean his asshole right there on the sofa. Getting in there, boy. All right, so, all right, I'm going to reach on down. I'm going to open this so I, there are fewer steps. And I'm going to grab out number one, and I'm going to look at the color. I'm going to give it a whiff, and I'm going to give it a taste, of course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to guess the region, 
This, this is just a horrible idea. I'm going to fail so bad. I'm going to guess the region. I'm going to try to guess the ABV. And on this list that I have right here, I'm just going to give it a, a shot in the dark as to what this whiskey actually is. I do not expect to be right ever. And if I am, I'm going to probably go ape shit and throw, <laughs> throw things all over the place because I'd be so happy. Um, but yeah, that will... Yeah, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, so I am going to have a little reachy reach. Okay, there's number one. I hope this box isn't too well made. Oh, okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, I got you. The bottle is in my hand. Oh, cool. It feels it feels like a little scotch bottle. Oh, it's adorable. Okay, I hope there's nothing on the top neck. <laughs> okay, there's not. Oh, man, there's a little plastic stopper. Come on, dude. Why are you so thorough? Okay. Here we go. Trip, 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 trip. All right, she's in the glass. Can't see. Get in the box. And we're off. Day one. You're enjoying it thus far. I don't know why I said that, but I'm sure it's just a normal December day. All right, so first of all, that color yeah, again, with blind tasting, I have no idea if they've added E150. I have no idea if they've chill filtered. There's no possible way. So the only thing I am paying attention to is the the whiff and the palette and the finish. And that is all. Oh, one more thing. I also will be giving it a score, which is something I never do because I, I just don't like being that dude. But um, I'm going to give it a score because I think it would merit that blind tasting. And I just might surprise myself and buy it in the future. All right, so let's give it a whiff. By the way, this is, sorry, I keep giving you some by the ways. Um, this is actually my first drink in a month. I usually do no booze November, which is something that I've just made up, which I kind of abstain from drinking alcohol and I focus on kind of getting a balance in my, in my life where I just focus on my health and uh, just drink water. Um, so yeah, this is my first drink in a month. So let's see how that goes. All right, let's give it a... Oh, that color, it's a, I'd say it's a dark, like an old gold, almost. It's nice, not bad, if it's real. Okay, let's give it a whiff. Hmm, I smelled this, but this, this is, there's some familiarities here. Ooh, that's nice. I'm getting, like, apples, fresh apples, with caramel. Caramel, caramel, whatever. It's the same. It's the same thing. Mmm, that's nice. A little bit of earthiness to it, I think. Pears and toffee. That's beautiful. That's a nice nose. I'm not getting much of an ethanol burn, so that might indicate that it's a bit of a lower ABV. The majority of the whiskeys on this list aren't, aren't too high in the ABV category, so I'm not expecting to get my nose blown out. Yeah, that smells, that just smells good. Hmm, all right, well. Well, let's see if they check the legs. No legs, really, to speak. Well, there are. All right, well, let's give it a try. Gombe, cheers. Okay, remember that ABV comment I mentioned before? I think that's going to go out the window. I'm going to put this at like a 43 or 46. Off the, just off the top of my head. Obviously, I'm going to give it another go and see what it's like. But it's, um, it's, a, it's spicy, it's peppery. It's very creamy, malt forward, uh, which is nice. Yeah, I'm getting almost, now I'm getting a bit of a must. I have some water here just in case, um, you know, we need it. I'm giving like a... Like a musty basement, almost. Like a cardboard box has been sitting in a basement for a long time. Have you? Does that make sense? I hope so, because that's exactly what I'm hitting. Hmm, that's nice. I'm gonna go and going back in.
Mm, the palette, I would say, it's a bit underwhelming. Um, maybe if I put a little bit of water in it, it'll open up a little bit. Um, with a nose like that, I, I expected a lot more, to be completely frank. Um, there's not much to it. I'm getting the same uh, elements that I got on the nose. I'm getting the toffee, I'm getting the apples. It's a little velvety. It's really, I don't want to say smooth, because that's not the right word. And, uh, and I don't like using that in the first place. But it's um, nice and tame. It's not a high alcohol burn, although I do think it's higher than 40. But as previously mentioned, I'm wrong a lot. Now, on the nose, the water hasn't changed anything. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of floral notes. Yeah, it's just not, it's kind of underwhelming. It's really not to, ugh, there's a cat here floating. <laughs> it's just not really doing a lot for me, unfortunately. I mean, letting it open up a little bit is kind of helping. I probably should be doing that, eh? Kind of subscribe to the whole, well, how am I supposed to know? The whole minute in the glass, or hour, what? Year in a cask, hour, fa. I'm really good at this. <laughs> year in the cask, minute in the glass type of approach. I'm getting a lot of butterscotch now. That's wild. What are you? What are you, dude? A lot of butterscotch. Mm. Saltier. It's okay. It's definitely... I, I do think it's higher than 40, but I don't know. So, what do you think? Take a look. All right. What are you... Highland Park 12? Come, get out of fucking town. That is insane. I have had Highland Park 12. I finished a bottle of Highland Park 12, and I liked it a lot. And that, my friend, I don't think is Highland Park 12. But, I guess as I said before, I am wrong often. Man, alive. It's so strange. Like I remember the first time I ever tried Highland Park 12, I called my friend immediately, and I said, Dude, you've got to try this. This is actually some pretty decent stuff for the price. And I'm not getting that that shock to the senses as I did that one time. That's crazy, man. I don't know. I'm not getting any smoke. I'm not getting any peat, really. Unless it's just so subtle. <sighs> who knows? I've been out of the game for a month, so who knows what my palate enjoys anymore. Well... Yeah, well, it is what it is. So day one in the books. Did you enjoy it? Did you get Highland Park 12 as well as the other people that are participating in this advent calendar with me here in China? Um, so that way we can know if we're drinking the same thing together. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> Score zero out of one. All right, well, Ming Tian Jian, see you tomorrow and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.